Hello everyone, uh, today we will be discussing the uh, anatomy and physiology of uh, chicken. But before that, uh, let me uh, recall what has been transpired during our previous discussions and our previous meetings. So of course, we have had discussed about the uh, trends of poultry production in the Philippines and the importance of uh, poultry production. And also we have discussed about the region of chickens and uh, the different uh, terms related to uh, poultry production and we also have uh, uh, made mention that the incubation period and the scientific names of different uh, poultry species and we also have uh, discussed about the productive uh, performance or production index in, in uh, poultry production like for example we have discussed about the uh, feed consumption the uh, average daily gain and weight or the ADG and we also discussed about the feed conversion efficiency and uh, we also have uh, performed the different practices in uh, raising chickens in fact we have already harvested our chickens and uh, had been sold already the slaughtered form and uh, today We'll be continuing with the anatomy and physiology of chicken. So first, let us look at the uh, structure of the chicken. Chicken is a warm-blooded vertebrate with high metabolic rate and a body temperature in an adult bird somewhere between 105 degrees Fahrenheit to 107 degrees Fahrenheit and is equivalent to 40 degrees Celsius to 41.7 degrees Celsius. So I'd like to emphasize the uh, term, the high metabolic rate so uh, chickens considered with a high metabolic rate because uh, nowadays most of the chickens has been uh, most of the chicken that has developed is of a fast converter of feeds so uh, with that uh, because they are fast converter of feeds they are efficient converter of feeds uh, when chickens when chickens are feed properly uh, the increase in size, the growth is uh, uh, very fast. But uh, the fast growing characteristic of chickens should be complemented with uh, proper feeding. Uh, in fact, uh, in our in our production, which was uh, ended on uh, March 11, no? uh, we started uh, February 11, and then by March 11 we have harvested already all our chickens and in fact we have slaughtered all of them and sold to the market and luckily all of them have sold in fact cool lang pa nga yung uh, supply natin oh uh, yeah no they are the met high in metabolic rate so madali silang mutubo and uh, well uh, ano yung mga metabolism so metabolism it is the broken down and building up of uh, tissues in the uh, chicken's body so we have two types of metabolism we have anabolism and catabolism when we say anabolism this is the building of tissue and on reverse the opposite of that we have the catabolism is the broken down of tissue within the animal body so uh, we have the different metabolic uh, reactions in the chicken's body so we have the uh, we have the uh, respiration no which includes the Krebs cycle the citric acid cycle the electron transport system along the way of those uh, metabolic processes there is uh, a metabolic uh, I don't know there is an anabolism and catabolism has been taking place along those uh, uh, metabolic process which is the Krebs cycle the uh, citric acid cycle and the electron transport system all right okay so other body temperature I would like to emphasize is 40 to 41.7 degrees Celsius well uh, as we can observe when we uh, touch the chicken and hold them so really f we really feel that the temperature of chickens is uh, significantly different from the temperatures or average temperatures of human body so the chickens is covered with feeders, skin and skills. 
okay why they are covered with scales now particularly in their feet uh, because uh, it has been uh, theorized that uh, bird is uh, evolved from reptiles which is considered as their uh, this origin of their parents all right so the next slide we have here the excuse me <coughs> no it's not a COVID it's just because of the uh, changes in, in uh, environmental temperature mainit ngayon mayang gabi malamig anyway sorry for that okay so so feeders a bird's body is covered with feeders without which it could not fly uh, then the feeder developed from the skin and has protective and locomotive function so uh, <coughs> the birds of the feeders protect them from uh, extreme environment sobrang init sobrang lamig okay and also feeders functions for locomotion or mobility because their wings has feeders which enables the birds to fly so feeders are more uh, composed cheaply of a protein called keratin so keratin it is a protein and this is similar to the keratin we have in our hair we have in our nails sa koko natin meron tayong mga keratin and even in our skin there are some keratin in there alright so feeders make up between 4 to 8 percent of the live weight of the bird and this uh, this portion this proportions of feeders relative to the body weight of the bird varies according to the six and eights of chickens usually the older and older chickens and males have lower percentage compared to the youngers and female birds so feeder the parts of the feeder what are the different parts of the feeder so a feeder is composed of a root a root called the calamus so this is usually the tip most of the uh, feeder of the chicken so another part we have uh, a long quail or a shop now by the way a calamus is the same as uh, the same term as quail or shop uh, they have been used interchangeably so another part we have the rockies so this is the median portion of the uh, or the median portions of the of the feeders uh, cutting lengthwisely so to give the rigidity of the <coughs> feeder so the barbs we have another part the barbs extending from the quill another we have the bar barbules extending from the barbs and the barbicels extending from the barbules if you are to look into the uh, illustrations of the feeder so I'd like to show you there you there you have it so let me uh, reduce the view of this okay how to reduce this one fit to window hello excuse me so we are we have been trouble okay we are in trouble so there you have it so this is the quill the the, the shaft or the calamus this is the tipmost portions of the entire of the entire feeders attaching into the bird's skin then this this is the uh, rockies okay traversing medially between uh, the lengthwise portions of the feeder then we also have uh, the, ve the vein okay yeah, look at this we also have the after feeder and the downy bulbs Do downy barbs so we have to look at the superimposed portions of the uh, the wings oh no no the feeder so we have the barb by which some barbules are attached to the barb so look at this and the, so the more imposed superimposed one we have in here so this is the uh, part of the chicken's feeder so let's go back to our slide so yun those are different parts of the uh, 
birds feel. So the next one we have uh, shape of the feeder. So the shape of the feeders also vary, no? greatly in size and in certain shapes are associated with sex. So uh, we can easily observe which are the males and females by just looking at their uh, other.